What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. Mic check, mic check. Yep. We about to get into Neek sets the record straight and clears up misconceptions following recent hot seat. So let's get into that. And then she talks about, you know, her and Mr. Bacon's relationship and things like that. I want to react to the Shade Room teens so we don't have to react to Neek's video in its whole entirety. And y'all mad because I skipped it. <clears throat> All right. This the ADHD part I'm, I'll be telling y'all about. Why didn't I do this before? I don't know. That's what that was not what my brain be telling me to do. Okay. Basically, people said that um, the people in the video wasn't my real friends because they shouldn't have asked me about this and this and the third. I feel like I could see how you guys from the outside looking in could try to say something like that y'all but this is just how we are like literally we're trying to pull stuff out of each other to make a good video the point is not even to pull stuff out like the goal of the video is never to make somebody spill their tea and i'm a big girl y'all i'm never gonna say something that i don't want to say i'm never gonna put anything out there that i don't want to be put out there i'm never gonna nobody can force me to do nothing nobody can be me out of telling my information or telling my business literally the moral of the game is to make that person who you're asking the question to eat the wing you know what i mean like our whole goal in the whole entire video was to make each other eat the wing it wasn't so much for everybody to just put their business out online yeah i chose to speak on those subjects and my this Basically, people saying that, um, the people in the video basically saying like, oh, well, she fumbled this and she fumbled that. And, um, I, she wasn't, she was doing this and she was outside. She was ready to party and she was doing that. You guys literally don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Y'all don't know what happens in real life. We might need to re react to the whole thing. Because I don't like how that cut short just now. Uh -oh. Video, you guys, and today I'm going to do like a response slash reaction video to um, Kiana's. I think it was like a hot wing video. Let me see. And we was basically just um, asking each other's questions. And if you didn't answer the question or you didn't want to spill the tea, you ended up basically eating a super duper hot wing. I think it's from Buffalo Wild Wings or somewhere. I don't know, but the wing is like extremely hot. Like it shouldn't even be on the menu how hot it is. It is definitely terrifying, but um, it's not that bad. <laughs> Unless they got a newer one I haven't eaten. It's not that bad. Nick just dragged that all the way out. It might be hot for her though, but. Once again, I have just... It's hot for me, don't get me wrong, but terrifying is crazy. ...caused this commotion um, on TikTok, and I also seen uh, this, like, a whole bunch of my clips on the, the Little Shade Room Teens page. Basically, um, I don't know, I feel like everybody just clipped mm. my scenes, and it was just like a whole bunch of juicy stuff in the video. So, don't limit yourself. Go and watch the video. Don't just look at my scenes on, like, TikTok and stuff. Go actually watch the video. It's actually a good video. Everybody was kind of spilling it, but maybe I just spilled it, like, a little bit crazy. And I just have been seeing, like, a lot of comments of just... Basically, people saying that um, the people in the video wasn't my real friends because they shouldn't have asked me about this and this and the third. I feel like I could see how you guys from the outside looking in could try to say something like that, y'all. But this is just how we are. Like, literally, we're trying to pull stuff out of each other to make a good video. The point is not even to pull stuff out. Like, the goal of the video is never to make somebody spill their tea and i'm a big girl y'all i'm never gonna say something that i don't want to say i'm never gonna put anything out there that i don't want to be put out there i'm never gonna nobody can force me to do nothing nobody can bitch me out of telling my information or telling my business literally the moral of the game is to make that person who you're asking the question to eat the wing you know what i mean like our whole goal in the whole entire video was to make each other eat the wing it was wasn't so much and to stop it i'm a big girl i'm grown enough to make my own decisions i'm grown enough to answer my own questions i don't need nobody coming to my defense or you know trying to make it a super thing like making people like oh she's weird because she asked this question because at the end of the day i will ask whatever question i want to ask on the video so i expect people to ask their questions and you know 
and I do the same. So basically, I'm going to do like, a, I'm not going to do a reaction to the full video because obviously that, you know, I feel like that'll be super long. But I'm just going to do like a reaction video and talk about why I answered questions the way I did and, um... Okay, we got that friend. ...about it and part okay. of the video. Okay. And it's already clipped because I they literally clipped every answer that I made and put it, every question that was asked to me and every answer that I, uh, and I, didn't, I don't think I ate any of the wings, honestly. So, I think I ate the wings twice. Girl, she answered because she didn't want to eat them wings. She obviously said they was terrifying. She didn't want to eat them wings. And it was like some other questions, but... They most of my questions I'm just gonna react to them. I'm gonna act, react to the ones that was on the shade room teens and just and just you know basically elaborate with you guys yeah. and kind of give y'all a little back end. Okay, um, why are they laughing? Why are they laughing? Y'all literally, we have been laughing, we have been so loud. It's a whole bunch of different personalities. We have been goofing off the whole entire the whole entire day. It wasn't just that video. It wasn't just that question that had us goofing off. The whole entire point of the game, we was basically just like, you know, playing with each other like, oh, bitch, you're finna eat these wings. Like, I'm finna ask you some stuff that I know that you don't want to answer just so you can eat the wings. And my whole point of answering was like, just to like, be like, yeah, bitch, like, you ain't finna do nothing. Like, you ain't shaking shit over here. So, and I think that's why I was, we. As a viewer, is that not simple knowledge? And I'm not being funny. Like, is that not something that we all kind of have at this point? Like, all right. The goal is to get them to eat the wing. Or the goal is to get them to tell their business. And they also grown enough to do so. Okay. We was la I mean, that's why they were laughing because it was so much of a competition. And it was just like, oh, this is getting juicy. So I feel like everybody reactions was... Like, you know, basically we all just playing the game like, oh, bitches, you gonna answer that or you gonna, you gonna be scared. So, like, I don't really take it personal to be like, oh, that's not your real friends because this person didn't say this and that person didn't say that. And, oh, they doing a little bit too much laughing for me. Y'all, this is all part of the challenge. This is all part of the content creating. Sometimes shit get a little, people get a little nosy. They get in your business and how you respond and how you freaking take it is just, <laughs> You're not supposed to really take it personal. It is what it is. It's content. I know, Charity, but I needed to ask. <laughs> and I knew what video I was signing myself up for when I agreed to do the video. So, all... One thing Nika is about to make very much clear is she grown and she know what she doing. Now, the times where Nick be like, I didn't know that that was going to bring a whole bunch of drama. <laughs> And I'm like, well, Neek, when you keep posting thumbnails like I'm a single parent, it's going to cause some drama. However, I do understand, I ain't going to lie, why she feel like she's a single parent. They're not even in the same household. Technically, she is a single parent when she over there by herself. So, but it can be misleading to some people, make it seem like he not taking care of his child, blah, blah, blah. But all right. Best was off the table for everybody involved in the video, not just me. Just because you guys see the little clips we did get juicy in everybody's behalf, but you know, I feel like the kind of the spotlight is kind of shined on my answers and my questions on the video. When really, I don't think you guys should get too deep. Up. Appreciate the gift, but up, friend. We're gonna, I mean, the resub, friend. I'm like, Nick, don't repeat it this seven times. Start right now. Eight I'm gonna just react the to the very first clip, which is um, I'm gonna screen record it and I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, she's gonna put it on the screen. Oh shit! Sorry. After okay. watching Neek's mom, I completely understand why Neek acted the way she acted. That, that is her twin. Trying to get it together. Literally. Okay, Neek. <sighs> okay. It. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. That nosy ass bitch. <laughs> That nosy ass bitch. <laughs> and hold on. I feel like a lot of people thought that, that she was like, they was laughing at me. I didn't take it as they was laughing at me. I think they was taking it. I mean, I took Hold on, Nick. Hold on now, friend. Shit. Only reason why I'm not reacting to Kiana's video is because um I think she would nail, if I'm not mistaken. 
and they copyright. So y'all know me. I, I'm going to get my coin. So where is, um, where is that video? Girl, she got me working. Where is that video? Oh, you Kai, Kai Sinai, Kai Sinai. I don't see it. This is old. Am I missing something? I don't see it. <laughs> I'm trying to hear what that clip said because I couldn't. There we go. Find a way. Move. Ain't nothing happened. Y'all not together. Y'all not working together. We're back together. What happened? It's a bite and wing because you're on the instant. We're not fit for each other. That ain't the question. Yeah, bitch. What happened? You decided to go separate ways. So bite that wing because you're in the instant. That's the answer. I think that that's an answer. Okay, she answered it. Look at that, that was laughing at Dexter because she said, bite the wing, bitch, because you don't want to answer. And literally, the whole point of the game was who's basically- They was definitely laughing at Dexter. He even asked, um, are you good? So, he was talking to Dexter, not- okay. Said, we was going to eat these wings, and I was telling everybody that I was going to eat the wings before the video. I'm like, I'm going to answer everything because ain't no way I'm eating these wings. And so, I don't think anybody thought that she was going to ask me that question. And they definitely didn't think that I was going to answer. Pete Brian response when I actually answered the question. His eyes got real big like, damn, bitch, you you bold. You finna answer this? So, yeah, hold on. Let me have to watch it over y'all because literally, I'm screaming for it. Nothing happened. Y'all not getting to work out together. What happened? It's a bite of wings. You don't want to answer. Like, literally. Damn, why y'all ain't say nothing? I be muting so I don't smack in y'all ear. But I said, um, I wouldn't have eaten that wing. And I don't care if it was Daisha or whoever touched the wing. I'm not even eating the wing no more because you got your hand on my wing. Unhand my wing. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling this girl, <laughs> I would pull her little Halle Berry hair out her head. Yes, you guys, I guess I could address this right now. We was definitely tipsy in this video, but... Um, they asked me the question did, was basically me, was boy. me and Dwayne together and I said <laughs> no we are no longer together and I also asked, said that we weren't fit for each other and why am I touching this base because I told myself that I really wasn't going to like come on here and just make it like a big thing because it's, it's literally not that like it's not a big thing I don't think it's a big thing on his end or my end we just both decided that we were going to go our separate ways but i hate the narrative that everybody i didn't see multiple comments of people going um under this post and also other posts basically saying like oh well she fumbled this and she fumbled that and um I, she wasn't she was doing this and she was outside she was ready to party and she was doing that you guys literally don't know what goes on behind closed doors y'all don't know what happens in real life i hate that people like don't understand that you are literally on this camera for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I'll be live with y'all for several hours, but after I get off this live, I have to go, you know, live real life with children and a whole ass girlfriend. So when you, when that happens, you have to handle certain things. Everybody want me to be casting that when it comes to streaming. 
I have children. I have a a woman. I have a puppy. I cannot do that. <laughs> I can't be cast of that. But I'm I make efforts to do as much as I can while I'm in the home. You know what I'm saying? Um, the kids are always able to touch me here. You know what I'm saying? Always able to talk to me. Honey sauce is always able to come upstairs and talk to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I'm saying that to say you deal with these type of things when you're in a relationship. And just because it's public don't mean it's perfect. And just because people look good together don't mean they perfect together. Neek is beautiful. Uh, Mr. Bacon is fine. Girl, they look real good together. But they wasn't a fit for each other. You know what I'm saying? So people not about to stay with each other because y'all feel like they look good together and all that, bro. People are living real life out here. Okay. Not in the relationship that we were in, that we shared together. And because we decided to separate, that's just that's just what it is. I just hate the narrative of like, oh, it could be very much him being out of the country. Um, and the time situation. Um, when she go to sleep, when he wake up, whatever. It could very well be attitudes. It could be lifestyles it could be just disagreements on anything dealing with life y'all it's it's a lot out here and it's a lot of people out here i don't feel like you have to settle so to speak with a person because of what y'all think you know what i'm saying i just i disagree with that and i'm happy she's standing on her 10 and him too you know what i'm saying and they doing what it is they need to do that's best for them she fumbled and oh or he fumbled or oh he lost on this no <laughs> so you trying to tell us you have a life outside of us yes i make sure i give y'all patreon hours of videos hours of videos and i'm appreciative though because y'all make sure a bitch keep these lights on very appreciative i don't complain about nothing with y'all i absolutely make sure i go live even if y'all ain't subbing <clears throat> I make sure I go live with y'all because I love y'all, okay? However, I have a whole ass family that I take care of, me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I'm here with y'all. I take care of y'all. I take care of my family. Look, I'm getting pulled like this. I feel like I do a good job. Oh, you guys, we're walking on the path that God gave us and we basically just trying to <sighs> figure it out. And maybe I shouldn't have answered the question, but no, you should have answered and the I question. Just put it on and I feel like she answered the question fair. And she she was a little tipsy, so it might have came off a little bit like she didn't care. But, I mean, who want to come on camera crying? I've done that before. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do that. Myself, because I'm just putting it out there. And once you put something out there, like, literally, you give people, like, you know, a chance to just speak on your situation. But we're going to go react to the second question. I'm going to start screen recording now. Just that was like a little peep to tell myself. But yeah. <laughs> your, your, your baby daddy, um, baby mama. You think you could be there? Why would he ask me this? This was very messy. And I also said that this is a very messy question. Is that what that is? Do you feel like you could be like that? That's right. Yeah. I said you messy bitch. Period. Oh, that's not to nobody. That's just, I just feel like I can be here. You feel how you feel, oh well. Okay, that was messy. That was messy as hell. That's not personal to anybody, but. That's not personal to anybody. Here's the thing. They don't have any loyalty to Lena. So it was, they don't care to ask that question. Also, I want y'all to know when you get in the rooms with these people, you don't care. You get in that room and get to drinking that tequila. You get to drinking that Casa Frijo. That Casa Casa Frijo. You get to say whatever you want to say. And you deal with the consequences after the fact. So, you know. Anyway. Yeah, that's in general. Okay, next thing. I'm sorry. Would you beat your, your baby daddy? Um... All right, so the second question was, uh, would I beat my baby daddy, baby mama up? And I honestly think, I don't... <laughs> would you beat your baby daddy, baby mama up? It's crazy. I don't even think...
think that he meant any disrespect by him saying my baby daddy, baby mama. I just honestly think at the time he really couldn't remember her name or he didn't know her name. I didn't think it was any shade and basically him. Uh, <clears throat> That's also the problem with Neek. I feel like she actually think things that aren't shady be shady as hell. And it's something that I wouldn't have put in my video. Um, because I'm co-parenting with folk. Now, where Nick probably coming from is the fact that Lena is always, always speaking out of turn, okay? Always. So, every other day, Lena got to address something. And it's always dealing with the other side, or, well, with the other side, okay? And and her uh, man, you know what I'm saying? So if I was Nick, I probably wouldn't have cared either because, I mean, hell, if you can address something all the time or talk about something all the time dealing with me, well, hell. And, but now, but when I look back on it, I can see how somebody would take that. I would see, I can see how she would take that and be like, oh, bitch, like, what you mean? Like, yeah, not too much. You know what I mean? I can see how she would take that as being shady or being messy because the question was very messy. And I also said that in the video, but I think the whole entire video was super duper messy. And the whole point of the video was to just be juicy and very messy and very like, yeah, bitch, are you going to answer this question? I feel like this question was like a lose-lose situation and maybe I shouldn't have answered it. Maybe, you know, I, I don't regret answering the question, but I feel like if I would have bit the chicken wing, they'd be like, oh, yeah, not too much. You know what I mean? I feel like if I would have bit the chicken wing, it would have been a thing. And then if I would have just answered it the way I would have answered it, everybody Definitely lose lose. But I'm like, oh well, Nick is messy for answering that question. The question was messy in general. All the questions was. that was asked on that video was, was very messy. The whole it was a lose video was a messy video. So, you know, I can't fault him for asking me the question. Um, I did say in the video and I stand on it that it wasn't towards anybody in a messy manner at all. Um, if she took it, if Lana took it to be like a messy thing that I answered it the way I did, I'm pretty sure anybody in the world would answer the question how I did if we was trying to be like, you know, actually answer the question, like not beat around the bush, but actually answer the question. I would hope that anybody would feel like they'll win a fight with anybody. You know what I mean? And I feel like, I feel like personally that I will win a fight again. Who I, no matter who it is, I could be fighting a bear. I feel like I'm gonna win the fight. You know what I mean? So it wasn't no shade. It was. I mean, genuine. who about to be like? Yeah, nah. I think Lena will beat my ass. I ain't even gonna cap you down. <laughs> she, yeah, she. You know, yeah, she. Uh. -uh. uh. <laughs> I wouldn't say that either. Um, me, I always say that. We, you gonna get the best of me. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you, baby. And the only reason why I say that is because you don't want to be on this camera talking my head. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up. We've seen so many times. I'm gonna be her. I'm gonna be her. And that bitch get her ass whooped. Now, I'm not somebody you could just whoop my ass. It'll never happen. <laughs> so with that being said, boy, you're gonna be bleeding me too, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> rightfully so, though. If she feel as though she can whoop a bear, then hell. Help the bear, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, mystical. <laughs> to answer the question. I will not be on camera like, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna whoop such and such ass. And you know, you never know what happened. You just never know. I, oh my God. You know, I have PTSD now <laughs> from watching Ivory. If you was on Patreon, you would know. So the people that's on Patreon, watching Ivory sneak people. Oh my God. Like, you can already fight. Like, you already got that, right? But, girl, like, I react to videos, right? I never know who like me or who don't. I'm just always ready wherever I am. When you're ready, you ain't got to get ready, okay? So, I don't know if one day somebody going to sneak me. You might have to, I might have to up on you, but, you know, don't sneak me. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, give me the... Give me the opportunity to throw them hands with you, but you just never know. 
So I fuck around and get snuck. Y'all see me sleep on the internet. The nigga snuck me. What you want me to do? Ivory. Ivory gave me PTSD, bro. I have PTSD, bro. Ivory will literally be like, like I said. And you be like, all right. <laughs> I guess the conversation is done because whatever. <laughs> and she'll come kick you in your neck. And the next thing you know, you uh, uh, fall on the ground. Or she'll come kick your head in the tub like she did a Ferrari that day. Okay? Or she'll come behind you, pull your hair, hit you in the throat and shit. Them bitches is crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> you just you just never know. You know what I'm saying? So getting on the internet, talking about I'm going I'm to whoop whoever. All right. Depending on the situation, you better goddamn, yeah. If I get a hold of you, you through. You get what I'm, you through. All that sneaking and shit. Just know I'm always like this. I don't trust none of y'all. Hey, Nick. Oh, what's going on with you? Hey. I always wait to see, like, is it some Anna? Like, what's going on? Oh, we good? Oh, okay. I was just making sure, because you know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know. I was just talking about Neek. You might be a fan of Neek. You might got an issue with me. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? We, we good? All right. Always ready. I'm genuinely <laughs> not trying to be shady. I'm not trying to be messy. The video was messy. The situation was messy, and maybe I should have bit the wing. I take accountability for that, but uh, wrong and I apologize wrong if she took it any wrong way. But it was just us joking around, drinking, and me simply answering the question, and I also stated in the video multiple times that this was not towards anyone, so I really hope that she didn't take it to heart what I was saying, but I can see how it can be like put off to be like, oh, like, you know, this is how this is how he's explaining her, and she has a name. So I probably should have corrected him, like, oh, well, her name is this, and this is how I feel. But at the time, y'all, we drinking, and it's just, we chatting and shit like that, and I think it's just completely, like, I can see how it could come off as being, like, disrespectful, but I genuinely think that he didn't mean nothing by it. I genuinely think that he just didn't remember her name, and that was a way to describe her at the time so but you know <laughs> yeah but yeah i i really hope that i i really don't want that to be all for the, for the most part when i see people or uh, if they see me because people been see every so here's the thing nowadays everywhere i go somebody know me and it makes me nervous sometimes because not because i feel like they're gonna want to fight but because i didn't even see, you i could have had on anything like, I can't walk out of here with no bra on and go in the store right fast. Because get what? One of y'all going to be in there. And you're going to get a picture of my feet because I ain't got on no socks. Okay? And my feet be ashy in the back. I don't have time for that. This the type of stuff that I think about. <laughs> so everywhere I go now, somebody know me. And I'm like, damn. Okay. So... You just like, you got to always, and y'all, y'all got to understand, I do reaction videos. So ain't no telling if whoever took it the wrong way. And I don't care because I come, I come in peace. First of all, I, I come with respect. And if I wasn't being respectful, then shit, it is what it is if I see you. But for the most part, this is not personal for me. So if it's personal for somebody else, I will understand. And so, most of the time when I've met them, like I haven't met Neek. I don't. I have never seen her a day in my life. Kiana, none of them um, Houston niggas. That's a lie. If they come to Atlanta, I see them. But you know, everybody act like they don't know me. I like that. I love that. <laughs> niggas, is, niggas will see me look and keep them mad. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Maybe you offended. Maybe you're not offended. I'm not coming on here to offend anybody. I understand with jokes, people get offended. And I can see if Lena is offended. You know what I'm saying? From what she's saying now. People get offended. What am I supposed to do? If I say something nice, you offended. If I say something mean, you offended. People just be offended. And girl, for the most of the time, I just be laughing. Like, it's just... <laughs> I don't speak about people's children. I don't... You know what I'm saying? I don't... The disrespect that I've seen some of these reactors and bloggers do, I don't do it. Only person I feel like I have done entirely too much on is Christopher Sales. And that was years ago. But... <laughs> That's it. I, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't, 
I don't go here unless I don't like you. Obviously, unless we going back and forth, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I'm saying. I thought deep, but I see how it can be like, okay, well, Neek, you just keep on. But mind y'all, this is stuff that's being asked to me. This is situations that happen. That was Anytime Sebastian, I'm right? It wasn't even Chris. About, that was Sebastian for sure. My situation, I answer the question. This is literally what what people is asking me. So it's not like I'm going around what? prancing around just answering these questions about the people. This is just what is. Who? Sorry, Neek. I keep cutting you off. Who did that? That girl put Sherelle kids on a t-shirt and said she will. Who said? Who? That's crazy work. I don't have time for that. <laughs> That's the shit I don't have. That's how you get snuck. Nigga can't wait to see you to sneak you when you do some shit like that. Oh, hell no. You brought to me, and I feel like I answered it to my hell best ability no. where I, and I kind of like shut it down with the whole, I'm not being messy towards anybody. Sorry again, Nick. Children are off limits for me. Mothers are off limits for me. Oh, parents, excuse me, are off limits for me. Grandparents, absolutely off limits for me. So, unless we into it and you talk about mine, you do. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is a second time, and I'm doubling down on that. I was not being messy towards anybody. I'm not trying to prove anything to nobody. I just generally think anybody I fight, I can beat up. And that's Here. just my final answer on the whole entire and, situation, the whole entire that's answer. It. That's, that's awesome. not to say, oh, I want to fight her, or I want to beat her up right now, or I want to, like, it's nothing. It was nothing. No overshade with you it. You talking about light it skin? It was generally shout? just answering the question, and that's it. That's it. Okay, guys, sorry, Kobe called me, y'all. So, on to the next question. Let me see. She definitely not wrong to say that. <laughs> and she ain't wrong for how she answered it either. Like, the way she answered it. Ty laugh kills me, bitch. Like, her whole entire... Ha, 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 ha. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. That laugh is so loud and so just, oh my goodness, obnoxious. Obnoxious, how have you said? But, um, the third question was basically, uh, Daisha <clears throat> asked me when I go back to my baby daddy. I think... No, I wouldn't. I don't think he would go back to me. I don't think we are. And maybe how I answered it. Y'all, my job, I'm a bitch. It's the I don't think for me. That shit right there be pissing me off. You don't think. So it's for you to be like, hell no. Because don't give me a little bit of space. I don't. You don't need a little bit of space to think. You don't. You don't. <laughs> what you mean you think? Or you don't think? He's with somebody. You was with somebody, but I'm sure you know uh, somebody else going to slide through in a minute. Okay. Uh, what you mean you think? The way she answered it was correct. Hell no. Now, now she hitting you with the I don't think. I don't, I don't like that. It's a no. It's a no. Very tipsy at this point. Like, we have been drinking a lot, a lot. And maybe okay. I want to get on that castle free. Though. I'm not sure how y'all wanted me to answer the question. Um, you and I said my response was wrong. I don't think I've seen nobody say my response was wrong or nothing like that. But I don't think he would go back to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will go back to him. It's the thing. You see, goddamn it, the thing. Uh uh. I like the way she answered it the first time. <laughs> the way she answered it the first time was accurate. Hell no. What are you talking about? Like that was accurate. It'd be that thing for me. Because I, I have an ick with baby mamas and baby daddies because it's always an underlying something there, you know, unfortunately. And whether it's a good or a bad thing, to be honest with you, because you could just have love for the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, uh, or he got love for her. I watched her have my baby nigga. I forever love my baby mom. I forever do whatever for my baby mama. That that it's just there. And it's it's. Really not a damn thing you could do about it. Um, <clears throat> but that don't mean the next person would like it, you know, so it is what it is. I generally don't think we probably would be on the same path of just, 
I don't think I'm his type of girl, I, and he's not my type of man no more. Like, we had something. And I know these people can relate to me. Like, my, my mom probably would never date my dad again. Like, she was just young. He was young. You know how you, I don't know. I feel like it's just sometimes people are not your type. Like, you, you could look back and be like, oh, yeah, I dated that when I was younger. And, you know, I'm not even the same woman that I was when I was dating Splain. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that was pretty self-explanatory. On to that next okay. one. Your ex was a better father figure to your child than <laughs> your baby daddy. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Quiet Storm. That was a good answer. I feel like he thought I probably was going to say something like a little bit shady, but I do stand on that. I think they're both good dads. I think they both have a really great, uh, you know, father figure roles. And I think they do well at being in their child lives and doing what's best for their kids. And I don't think it's no competition. And I hate that people try to make it a competition. It's like... You know, you don't have to put the next person down to uplift. You don't have to put one person down to uplift the next person. And I feel like, yeah. And I have, I've always felt like that on that situation. I've already told y'all that. But, yeah. I think that he just, his little hat to the side is crazy. Every, you could tell in this video, though, just looking. That was a good answer. At this video, that you could just tell that everybody's just sloppy <laughs> and just in their own world. Just doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But on to the next. I think this is like one of the last questions. Or I think this is the question about. Yeah. My mom up here. She's fiddling with everything. Don't know. I think this is the last question about me getting help with Kaiser and stuff like that. But let's see what it says. You, you be outside and everything you don't have outside. Um, honestly, it used to bother me. Nowadays, I, I see it, Chrissy. That's ridiculous. I missed the uh like, question. I, 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 you be outside and everything you don't have outside. Like, um, speak up. Honestly, like. it used to bother me, but nowadays it really don't. Like I know what I do in picture life. I know what I do like outside Instagram when I'm not vlogging, when I'm not recording. I take care of him primarily now, so that's what matters. First, it's gonna be my mom. And that's like okay. Well, I just try to question myself and be like. One more one in the chat. You do so much for your whole entire family. Like, I'm literally taking care of my whole entire family. And on top of my son. So, I know, I know that it takes a village to raise a kid. Nobody can make me feel bad about not having my son. Or letting my son go with my mama. Because I know she loves him just as much as I do. Like, literally, if not ten times more. Like, she just is obsessed with him. Nobody will ever make me feel bad about sharing my son with my mama. <laughs> Look at her, she ready to step me in. And if you had the support system she had, you would do it too. You would go out and enjoy yourself. I feel like, even when I'm not a mom, my little sister had two kids and then I had friends that had kids. I feel like it's very important to still enjoy your life and still be you. Don't forget who you are. <coughs> like, um, sorry to cut you off, Keanu. Like, we over here, we're, uh, what, 35, 36. I've gotten to a point in my life where it's like, damn, I want to go out of town, right? Before that, before um, I got a family and all that, definitely wasn't me. But now, naturally, when you get one, I don't know, sometimes you kind of want to, like, go outside. And I have to think, oh, damn, the kids are in school. Or, damn, we got to make sure, obviously, they get on the bus. You got to make sure they get off the bus. We need to make sure that they are in our home um, when they get out of school, you know what I'm saying? That's very important. And although, you know, they're old enough, that don't mean, you know what I'm saying? Just go out the country and hope that they can. So we're just not that. So with that being said, some things we cannot do because of that reason. <clears throat> so naturally when they decide, not when they decide, um, when they graduate and things like that, that will be the time for us to do so. So God forbid, 
Be scared. Just give me a second, because when you have daughters, when you have my daughters, woo! God forbid that they have children um, so soon, uh, obviously after they are legal and grown, because uh-uh, we're going to be out of town. We're going to be out of town. I can't do it. <laughs> Honey sauce is worse for, worse than me. Not mango barking. <laughs> Sorry. I had to knock on the wood, girl. We have to knock on the wood when, when I say anything with child and these girls, okay? Baby, my daughters. Us men, my daughters. Little boys in high school and my daughters. Something got to go with it. Anyway. So I got uh, some wood got to be knocked on or something, okay? Because y'all don't understand how it's like, unless you do know what it's like to have daughters, okay? And my daughters, not everybody else's, mine, okay? So with that being said, um, when they decide we going to be in Bali somewhere, uh, Ma, huh, can you please get little baby Junior? He getting on my damn nerve. I need you to watch him right fast. Ray, we're in Bora Bora. <laughs> I, I, damn. <laughs> Not that we don't want to be there for our grands. I'm just saying. For, from 40 to 46, we're going to be at the country. So listen. We're in Bora Bora. We'll be back in two weeks. <laughs> We're back in two weeks. Then we're going to pick up our grandson. We'll keep him for a couple of days after that, right? Because right after that, we are going to Maldives. I can't. We can't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying that to say, when you have that, <laughs> like, like Nick's mom, when you have that, it's a blessing, but they just not going to have it for the first several years of my grandchild's life. So I just pray that maybe they want to decide to have a baby after 46, right? So after I'm 46 and they like, you know what, mom, I'm pregnant. I'm going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> yes. We'll watch them all the time. I will. Honey, so I said she ain't trying to do it. By that time, I'm going to be, you know, a little settled down with my brain. I pray. So, I'm going to watch my babies. Bring them through. I keep them. We can take them to school. I ain't even tripping. It's probably going to be me. Because Honey, so has been getting up with y'all for 18 years of y'all life. You get what I'm saying? Every morning, I go to sleep with Honey, Sauce. So it be 4 a.m. I wake up at 12 p.m. She woke up at 6 a.m. Just like that. Girl, 4, 4 a.m. I go to sleep. Let me, I can't even move at 6. I didn't even roll over. She tried to wake me up the other day. She said I didn't move. Honey sauce so thought I was out of here. And I am knocked the fuck out because I went to sleep at 6 a.m. So what I'm trying to tell you is right now in my life, I ain't that responsible. I'm talking too much. But listen, that's why you have roles in the relationship. But anyway, thank God for honey sauce to get them children up. But <laughs> when I when I turn 46, I'm going to get the children up, the grandchildren. Just because you have kids. <laughs> so you might see her out in the club doing this and all that. That's because she has a good support system. It's not like she's sending her kid off to Tom, Dick, and Harry. Mm -hmm. her Hello. Her Hello. Tom, Dick, and Harry. But yeah, her mama is a grandmama. That's a granny right there. And that's amazing. Keep that in mind. Like, stop trying to punch you because they out in the club enjoying themselves as they should so they're not thinking I'm going to be out in the club. Postpartum depression. Just because you don't have a support system, you got to be there with your kids and your the father not in his life or whatever. But she just ate everybody. She was just eating them up. Oh, man. No, no, when I have a kid, I'm moving my mother to Houston because I still have a life to live. I'm going to still be there with my kids. But if you have that support system, why not? To, to, to the, this is a message to my kids. Just do it after I'm 46. By the time I'm 46, I don't know. Right. Oh my God. She graduated next year, technically. Oh my God, she graduated. All right, so she go. 
Yeah, no, she do. She graduated. She graduated next year. <laughs> so anyway, all right, she go graduate next year. 36. Boom, she graduated. That's when they grown and think that they can do whatever the fuck that they want to do. So then, you know, she might be doing a little thing and a little different. I don't even want to think about it. However, I just feel as though I done told them, y'all, listen. Trump ain't going to let you get no, um, he, can, he not going to let you get no abortion. Y'all ain't going to have no 48 hour pee. So I'm just, poor. it really, it really stresses me. Oh, I'm praying that they, I, I scared them with it. I pray that they're scared. Cause you gonna be taking care of them right till I'm forty six. Oh my god! I think that was the last <laughs> clip, and I'm gonna touch on this too because I see. I'm gonna touch on this too because I see a lot of comments of people like <laughs> saying like, "Oh, well, Kiana's this, Kiana's that. Why didn't she speak up?" But I feel like y'all pay attention so much to the negative stuff. Y'all never really pay attention to the positive stuff. Like nobody mm -hmm. really spoke about how she spoke up for me in that situation. But y'all wanted to speak on the time where, oh, she was quiet because I can handle my own. I can handle my own answers, and I can make my own decisions to, you know, answer the questions. I feel like y'all gotta pay attention to y'all gotta pay attention. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. have to pay attention to the positive stuff and stop shining so much light on all this negative stuff and trying to make a situation more than what it was because she she said a lot <laughs> like that could be a, that was a very like vulnerable subject for me and she knew that and she knew that you know stepping in when she when she could and what she knew information on she actually did so i appreciate that from her but i feel like the whole group was very supportive with my situation the whole group was very supportive on my answer and my whole entire parenting parenting thing and i just feel like people just want to shine like i need 10 like, years oh, they before because they laughed at this moment or Honey, yeah, so was gonna need and they did this and this and that but nobody really shines light on when they was actually being positive and shining light and trying to like you know what <clears> i mean like actually being positive and, and saying good things it's always about the bad things so yeah i just decided to say that but um yeah i think that was my main clips from that video that's the only ones that i'm going to react to honestly is the ones that was on the shade room i think they asked me some more but i ended up like eating the wings and stuff and it was just like Probably like two more questions because we didn't really have that many rounds. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. Content creator Neek chatting again on another juicy video. Oh, okay, she don't have much to say. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, some of y'all come over here and actually be upset at the fact that I be having full conversations during other people's videos because... Uh, I'm supposed to, I guess, to y'all just be reacting to what it is that they're saying. Um, but I cannot do that without giving my, um, what I think and what I go through and things like that. Because that's, that's the whole point of it being, and turning into my video. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there to the people that enjoy my commentary. Thank you to the people that don't. I don't give a goddamn. What you gotta do though. Let's go to Nick's video and go watch the full video in its entirety. And you know what I'm going to start doing? I need to put the damn link. Period. If you don't want to hit my mouth, go to the link. I got y'all. No problem. I got you. I got you. But to the people that can relate, bruh, let me know down in the chat. Her mama is a grand knee, okay? I, I don't know if she just already have lived that part of her life. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? You know? But... Now, yeah, now it's like, damn, I done got to a different age and I actually want to go out of town and shit like that. You'll be surprised what comes with age. And I actually love what comes with age. Do I want to get old? No. But, you know, do we get old? Yeah, we ain't got no choice. So in getting old, some things you start to feel that you want to do. And it could be very well. Um, one of them, you know, have a child earlier uh, than my 46 and I look in the child eyes and then damn it, they going to be on vacation with us. Now, honey sauce is just, she's not necessarily there with that. But I just feel as though, too, if if she let the baby touch her paw, you know what I'm saying? If they could paw with each other, I think that she would understand. <laughs> honey sauce, what'd you just say? <laughs> She'd be killing me down there. 
<laughs> laughing. <laughs> if the baby could just touch her paw <laughs> and she could touch the baby's paw, uh, it happens when you have a dog, you say paw. But anyway, if they could paw, maybe <laughs> she might feel as though, like, you know what? My grandbaby coming with us. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she feel that. Maybe she don't. But as far as right now, she got her mind made up. She don't want to be bothered. And I completely understand because she be getting up at, at 6 o'clock in the morning. Literally. Go to sleep. She, nope. Over it. Not even if you touch the paw, huh? Damn, honey sauce. Not even with the paw, huh? Once mine leave, I'm done. Damn, honey sauce. <laughs> I'ma just be a single grandmother. <laughs> well, they have a father, you know. He wanna say y'all is that they father uh, could watch the the grands. I just feel as though Honey Sauce that I had London though because she looks just like me, literally acts just like me. That's my child, and as far as I'm concerned, I was there at birth too. You just, I was just there in spirit. Uh, so yeah, do what you want with that. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.